Go. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi99 here. So episode number one of the random hybrid FIFA 17. We're on the early access at the moment. So I'm probably going to try and do this video rather quickly, especially the squad building side of things, because I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to get as much out of the 10 hours as possible. So off we freaking go. Now, if you saw my pack opening from yesterday, I said I was going to do the best player out of them packs. We end up actually packing one of the cards. I really, really wanted. Now, to a lot of people, it won't mean anything, but to get Heidi Sacco from Leeds, who I really wanted, I actually said earlier on in the pack open and gave me Sacco, and I ended up getting him randomly. It was crazy. And uh, so we're going to be using him for today's episode because he's a player I like. He's got 91 pace, a Leeds player, obviously, I'm a Leeds fan. And I just think it'd be quite cool to open up with him rather than I think the next best player was possibly Company. It's an alright player, but I'd rather be using a guy which I can potentially do quite well with. Now, a little thing I need to say right now is my Xbox is having all kinds of problems at the moment. I think it's breaking on me. It took me two hours to load up this morning to get into the game. So I'd imagine I'm going to experience some lagging, some horrible kind of stuff coming out. So I'm just going to pre-warn you now. I don't know if it's definitely going to happen, but I'd imagine it will. Right, so Saka is a winger. So what we're going to do is going to do the defender and midfielder. But if you can smash the like button for the first episode, see if we can get 300 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Hope you guys can uh, stick with this series this year. I'm going to spam these episodes because I want to get as many episodes as possible with the random hybrid because you guys seem to really enjoy it enough of me speaking let's get down to the actual content now what the fuck this is all new to me I've, this is literally the first experience i've had of the console kind of doing i'm not going to go too high i've only got 66 000 coins. i say only that's a decent amount plus i've got a lot of stuff i need to sell but with the squad builder challenges you want to be keeping your, your, your crapper players if that makes sense so we're gonna go for a 1k how do i like get off of this is this it Back. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell's happening. then. We're going to go for a goal defender 1k. We're going to go for page. We're just going to go for the first player on the first page. Because that's this, this episode we're on. Who is it going to be? Okay. Sanya. It's okay. Not a great player. He's actually French, which means he will link with Sako, which is nice, actually. Considering Sako is a right winger, he's a right back. It does actually make pretty good sense to use him. So have a look at some of the other players we've got here. But we got Sanya, so we'll go ahead and use him. Not the end of the world. Not a bad player, but not a great player in any means. But so that's a BPL player and a championship player. Well, of course, Sako will be a championship player. We need one more player. Who's it going to be? We can't use Delph because it's another Premier League player and also another Man City player. Nice card, though. We'll go for the, this one on this page. Pay out again. I've actually packed him, unbelievably, but he is another Premier League player, so we can't use him. We're going to have to go for this one. Another Premier League player. Give me something different. Okay, Kovacic. That's absolutely fantastic. I did get him in my pack opening, so we'll definitely go ahead and use him. Let's get over to the squad screen. I'm totally pumped to do my first random hybrid on FIFA 17. Okay, Let's so go. back at the squad screen there, you can see the absolute beast that is Heidi Sacco. 91 pace. Like I I said only free sus gun which is a little bit of a shame but i'm not going to put a chemistry style on him because i don't know how exactly it works as things stand but down the line we'll definitely put chemistry styles on players see how that improves them but we'll put us in a formation which uh gives us a link from the right winger to right back because that's the only way we're really gonna i will go for the 4 3 3 4 just for a second i know this is a formation i do use rather a lot uh, the buttons are a little bit different, I think, on, on the console to last year. So we go for an Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal, what am I on about? I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit old years, and I? Man City, right back. Sanya is the one we want. Did we get him? No, he's not a player we've got, so we'll have to go out and buy him. Not the end of the world. And then, of course, Kovacic was our third and final player. So we'll go ahead and use him. I think I packed him. Yes, I did. Ideal. Looks a really solid player yet again. Got some good stats there. So, so far, things are looking pretty sweet. So, where do we go now is my question. We may need to go a little bit French, possibly. Obviously, I would love to buy Pogba, but I just don't have the coins, nor do I want to waste the coins on one player in particular for the first episode, because we want to be uh, making the most of our coins going through. So, I'm just having a little think of what I want to do here. Is this the formation I want to go down? Potentially, it is. Um, so, I'm going to have a quick look what French centre midfielders might benefit us here. So, let's go for the French concept centre midfielders, like I said. Vieira would be lovely. Pogba would be nice. Something like Kante wouldn't be bad if he's... Uh, uh, I have no idea who that is is We've also got people like Imbula who isn't a bad shout also this guy who I did get in my pack open it looks very very solid from Watford um high medium work rate on him very solid around the board only 78 rated but it could do a job we've also got him who always looks fantastic every single FIFA uh he did have a bronze one year it's nice looking at these cards again I like the look of the concept cards this year actually I think they look slightly different 
it's just new, isn't it? So everything's going to look good um, originally. But there's a lot of good French enemies. I mean, this guy here, Dabo, as well, looks pretty, <laughs> pretty freaking sweet. Um, but I think we may well go for... Um, if I can get over there. See, I don't know if it's me that the menus do for laggy. I'm going to go for this guy. I want to try him out and see how he does. Also, he does benefit us in the fact that he does get a link with, of course, Sako. Uh, sorry, Sanya. Sako, he does get a link with, but he gets the, the good chemistry with um, Sako. So what we want to do now is potentially... Um, hmm. We need to think about what we want to do here. So we need a, a striker who links with Sacco. So again, French or championship. Let's have a look where the championship have got Rockin. Uh, obviously, McCormack's there. Is there any good championship pacey strikers? I know that's a bit of a thing which I, I, I don't have to do, but it'd be nice to actually get someone. Oh! Oh, Bamiyang has still got 86 pace. V-Bay's got 87 pace. Pacey striker there. Um, Beckford not got so much pace this year. Hogan is actually an in-form player. Wow. Would it be interesting to see if we could use an in-form in the first week? We've also got a Sombolonga. Looks quite good. Best is there. Naki Wells has got a little bit of pace. Dicko has got some nice pace. We need to think about our options, though, because for what we need to do... I may actually go for Kamar Roof up front just to get that Leeds link. And then we don't have to have... Uh, we could have a English cam from the... Ooh. See, this is the problem. I wanna go, I'm going to go for Roof. Obviously, being a Leeds fan, I want to try these Leeds cards out as soon as possible. So, I think Roof... We could go for Wood, but I think Roof does look like the better card overall. He really does, doesn't he? He's got more pace. He's just a better card overall. Has he got skill moves? No, again, no skill moves for Roof. Or he's got three, which is okay. So, what we do need here is probably a Watford um, English cam, which is probably not going to be a thing, is it? Give me some English, Watford. Oh, see, he would have been nice. Um... Luciano Basho still play for Leeds. That would have been lovely. So what could we go for in Cam? We need English. Watford are a team which typically don't have too many English players, are they? They've got Dini. We could convert it down to a Cam. Yeah, actually got decent stats for possibly that position. But at the same time, maybe not. Actually, this guy's got quite a nice card. 80, uh, silver there. Success. Um, wow, there's some nice cards here. But nobody... Yeah, there's no English players which are going to benefit me. That's a shame. That's a big shame. Because we could have had... Do we rock Dini and Cam? Hmm. Or do we change him, possibly? I might change him. Let me get an English Cam in the Premier League who has a French centre mid next to him. So maybe Kante and... Uh, I did actually pack Inform Chadley, which is quite cool. Deli Alley, does he have a French centre mid? What's Sissoko? I bet he's a right mid, isn't he? Just to pee me off. I bet Sissoko is a right mid. It, it, it makes sense, possibly, if he is. Yeah, he probably is, isn't he, Sissoko? Um, I'm trying to do this quick, but at the same... Yeah, he is a right mid. That's a shame. Because if he was a centre mid, he would he would do us brilliantly there. We need to find a French centre mid in the Premier League who will link with an English cam. So, bullshit. Who have we actually got? So, we've got Imbula. Um, maybe. Obviously, we've got the chance to use CDMs and cams as well. It's not the end of the world. There is other options. We've got, obviously, Schneidlin Rooney. Wouldn't be a bad shout. We've got Coquelon. We've got... Oh, Mendy's got one as well. Mendy. I guess that's Kante's replacement. Mendy. Um, Kabai, possibly. I don't know. Let me look for the English cams a second. I know what I'm doing, guys. Calm down. Calm down. So we could do Rooney and Schneidlin. We could do um, Lalana and Henderson. Actually, has Lalana got... Lalana's got a really nice card. I'm going to go for Lalana. I'm going to give Lalana a try and then we'll do... Oh, no, we need to be... F we need to be French, don't we? Not English. Uh, we need to be a French... Li oh, I'm, going, I'm getting confused with myself here. We need, a, we need a French and an English from the same team. Shouldn't be too difficult, guys. Come on. We could do punching. Has he got some good stats? Whoa, not great skill moves. I would have rather he had better skill moves. Um, bit of a shame. Is there any like centre forwards you possibly we could convert down? No. Any strikers we could convert down to Cam? It would probably cost us a little bit of money. We could do Vardy in Cam, but at the same time, do we really want that? Ings is there. Crouch. Do we just go for Schneidlin Rooney? I think we might have to. Bit of a 
I, I want to try Rooney actually in in Cam because he is a default Cam this year, and it'd be nice to see what he's like in his main position. Also, Schneiderlin being a half decent car, we could chuck him there, no worries, and then go for like I said, Wayne Baza Rooney in the old cam position. I'm hoping they're cheap. I'd imagine they're not exactly overly priced too soon. So that's a nice little bit going there. We do actually now have a free run at it because everybody at the moment is getting full chemistry apart from obviously Kovacic who does need some loving. He needs some friggin' loving. So we're going to give him some loving in the old... Oh God. Is that... That's the Spanish league now. Crazy. Let's have a look what they got. Obviously, I would love to use Ronaldo's. Oh, Masonda would be a nice shout to maybe use first episode. But at the same time, could we get him chemistry? Um, see, this is where it potentially goes a little bit down the drain, but it would be nice to use him. I did get him in a pack. He was a player I was asking about using. Shall we go for it? We're going to try and use Masonda. What we would need is a Real Betis left back. So let's hope to Christ they've got a decent one. Do we go for the guy who's got some pace? Um, then we would need a Real Madrid centre-back in Kovacic. We're going to give this guy a go. Just to get Masonda in the team, sacrifice a little bit of... He probably isn't even on the market. No, my luck. It would probably be a ridiculous price. What we do need now is a Real Madrid centre-back or a uh, Croatian one, probably. But I did... No, I didn't give Varane, did I? Did I give Varane? No. I may go for a cheaper option in Nacho Fernandez. Um, I was hoping Real Madrid maybe has something different there, but... See, the problem with Varane is he's French, and we've got a lot of French already. I'd imagine Pepe and Ramos are a little bit out of my price range just this yet. So we'll go for the cheaper option. We'll be a bit stingy, and we'll go for the old um, guy right there. So what we're going to do now is try and find a Spanish centre-back who links with a Spanish goalkeeper. Then we've pretty much sorted this team out. Is there one this year? There used to be... Well, Puyo would be delightful, but just not really... Uh... Oh, we could do Albio and Pepe Reina. See, that's a, that's a shout, because I was looking at Albio. Is Pepe Reina still at Napoli? I may have got this hard wrong. Yeah, he is. He's an 84 rated. I'm actually quite happy with that. Let's have a little look at what we've got here. So we've got 10 chemistry everywhere. We've got the Italian League, the Spanish League, the Championship and the Premier League. A little bit of Leeds and Manchester United in there. A little bit uh, awkward, but I'm going to hopefully score the goals with the Leeds players. So this is actually a pretty nice team. Looking at it again, could I change one or two things? I've sacrificed, like I said, the left back to get Masonda in the team. Hopefully he lives up to the hype. Hoping the gameplay doesn't allow. We've got a few players we need to buy. But well, apart from that, we need to bronze bench the shit out of it, probably, because I don't really have much in the club. But that is the team. I'm going to buy the players. I'll be right back. See you oh, okay, we are back. And as you can see, there is the final team. It does actually look pretty sweet altogether. A couple of players I massively overpaid for, but we won't talk about that, will we? I paid 10k for the friggin' left back. But I looked at the other guy and I thought, you know what? Let's make somebody's day and pay 10k for this guy. I mean... He's actually got four-star skill moves. I've just noticed that. I didn't have a clue with that when I put him in, but that helps. That's nice. That gives us a little bit of a four-star skill move left back. Not that we'd use our skills at left back particularly. Um, but he does obviously get a link with Masonda, who is the five-star skiller. Again, apologies if the scene's a little bit laggy. I think it's my Xbox. We've got Roof up front. He also cost me 10k. Idiotic, I know. But we did pack Sacco, of course. Um, and the team does look really, really solid. I'm looking forward to using this. I'm hoping to Christ that the gameplay doesn't lag. I want to win my first game, or at least have a chance of winning my first game. But when you go into it, also remember, this is early access. Only the people who have early access are playing it. Potentially, it's going to be a rather difficult game for me, who can't really play FIFA too well. Anyway, let's game on. Let's freaking do this. Holy shit. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going into our first game. He seems to have an alright team. Not great on the camera. He's got his lone legend striker playing in Suka, it looks like. Apart from that, it looks like it's purely his starter team. Um, but that's not to mean he's not a bad player. He could still be a good player. I'm hoping he's not. We can smash him. I'm hoping it doesn't lag. <gasps> Fingers crossed. It's game on. Balls down with Valencia. We win it back in Kovacic in midfield. Lovely bit of play into Sacco. Feeds it off to Schneidlin. Roof goes to beyond. He's looking for Wayne. Wayne, unfortunately. He's in. Wayne Rooney. Oh, my God. He saved it. Can we get a cross in? Sacco, first touch of dreams. He goes back stick. Wayne Rooney! Oh, he scores! In off the other side of the cherry nipper. And Wayne Rooney buzzes 1 0 to the good. Get over to that cameraman. Show me those titties. Wayne freaking Rooney gets our opening goal. Not the best goal you ever see. My first FIFA 17 goal is a sweaty goal, would you believe? But at the same time, who gives a shit? It's in the back of the net. It's 1 freaking nil. And we will take them apples. Great play. Wayne, feed Roof. Roof's gone. Go on, Kamar. He gets a bit of the rub of the green. But it's Kamar Roof. Can he get our second goal? Oh, the penalty, surely. It's been given as a penalty. I'm not going to lie to you. I've not looked into penalties too much yet. Rookie mistake possibly going into this. Because I could spoon this anywhere. Give him a card, though. Ref, don't get your bloody anger issues. Come on. Holy shit. This is, this is worrying. 
I would have rather have took the goal, if I'm honest. I think we had a guy coming through about to tramp at home. Holy shit, this could be embarrassing. Apologies already for the guys in the comment section below. We're just going to try and put this back stick. Oh, I put it down the middle! I tried to put that in the corner. Heidi Sacco gets the goal. I'm oh, definitely looking to penalties. Apologies, that was disgusting. But we do make it 2-0. Only 13 minutes on the clock. It seems to be a long game. But we are 2-0 to the good. We can't really complain about that. Oh, danger! This is the goal. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, it is! We conceded! It's Valencia. Crap defending yet again from me. Shit, that's not what we wanted. We were we were in control of this game, but now one goal changes everything. That is half time. We're two one up, but at the same time, it's gone a little bit iffy. Had a really good spell at the start of the game. He's come back into it as the game's gone on. I've I've got worse. Wayne Rooney's been a threat. Still a decent card, even though he's an 84 rating. But let's have a look at the half time stats. Here they are. Yeah, I'm I should probably be in control of this game, but I don't feel as if I am. I've got the Luton badge, if you don't know which side I am. I am winning 2-1. Things are getting a little bit tense. My shot accuracy is poor compared to his. is actually quite good, so he could definitely score another goal. Can we win our first game? You'll see. It's freaking it's... game out. Oh, it's going to be a goal of Suka. Big save. Get on it. Get on it. Get down it. No! It's got in. What a terrible, terrible moment for me. 2 all now. We were cruising. And it's all gone tits up as per... Jesus Christ, how has that gone in, really? Defensively poor all over. Could have easily cleared that, but no. Puts in a freaking little shitty header. Oh, no! Watch this end in tears. Watch this end in tears. Lovely. Who's that gone over there? Oh, you're in. Who is it? It's Musonda. Put it away, Musonda! Oh, what a terrible effort. Who's just gone on roof? Deflection, go! It's in! Come on, roof, I do believe. Gets the goal. Wow, what a game. What a it looks like roof as well. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Well done, EA. Holy shit. 3-2, just like that. What a game. Deflection all over the place. I wasn't even too sure where it went. I think it's gone in top bins. It has. Unbelievable scenes. 3-2. This game is crazy. Schneidlin sends a lovely ball through. And here goes Wayne Rooney. And he's found his first man. Wayne Rooney now, surely. Wayne Rooney scores. Lovely goal, 4-2. A little bit of a cushion back in this game. Thank Christ for that. I am literally... It's an emotional wreck. I, I, I could, this eat, could go either way. I can't even speak. I'm probably sweating balls. Who gives a shit, though? We're 4-2. Game on. Come on. Shit, the counter-attack. Oh, Nacho, come on, big. Ref, that's disgusting. Rooney over the top of Sacco. Sacco takes in his stride. Feeds his buddy. Come on, roof. Save, penalty. Put away, save. <laughs> Sacco scored a strange goal. I don't even know what's happening right now, but we will take it. Five friggin' two. I thought this should have been a penno. Oh, I'm oh, just, just mental. We'll take the goal. Five two. Yeah, buddy. He's not gonna find it doing this, is he? Sacco. Oh my god, he's unbrilliant. Sacco. Oh, couldn't get the shot away. What's happened? We've got an injury online. Since when? Since since when's that happened? We're gonna have to bring on Park G. Sage Park him. We have to bring him on right wing. Sacco's had to come off online. The scenes. All you need, and we do get the win. Get the fucking great start to the series. Oh, let's see what all went down. Boom! So there are the final stats. As you can see, we probably deserve to win. Even though my opponent was very clinical. 100% shot accuracy. Very impressive. Out of 12 shots as well. Not too shabby, but we had 20 shots. 13 on target, 58% overall possession, and 5-2 win. We will absolutely take that. I'm pretty happy with how that played. I'm liking the, the gameplay side of things off EVA 17. Definitely probably suits my style of play, but at the same time, I can't imagine that was the best opponent I'm going to come up against. So at the same time, you can't get too carried away. Hope you have enjoyed the episode. If you have a like, it'd be absolutely fantastic. If you're new around here, do not be afraid to subscribe. I will catch you next time, and goodbye. Boop! Teddy! We're back, baby. Holy shit.